what's up guys? So ngayon mag-solve tayo ng logic puzzle para ipagkita sa inyo kung paano i-apply yung deductive reasoning sa mga problems. Okay, so simulan muna natin sa simpleng logic puzzle. So ito yung problem. Rana, Tony, and Millie are sisters. Their ages are 9, 12, and 14 years old. Pero di pa natin alam alin sa mga ages na to ang Tyrone, Rana, Tony, and Millie. Meron tayong clues dito. Bale, ito yung mga general assumptions natin. Number one, Tony's age is not in the four times table. Number two, Millie's age can be divided exactly by the number of days in a week. Sa mga ganitong logic puzzles, mas mainam kapag gagawa tayo ng table para sa mga para ma-picture out natin ang sitwasyon at ma-solve natin ang puzzle. So gagawa lang tayo ng table na nandun yung names ng mga sisters at yung three ages. So dito gagawin kong pa-horizontal yung ages at pa-vertical naman yung names. So yung next na gagawin natin ay i yung hindi pwede at i-check naman yung sure na. Of course, gagamitin natin yung mga clues o mga general assumptions para sa pag ekis o pag-check. So based on clue number one, Tony's age is not in the four times table. Not in the four times table, meaning bali hindi pwede yung mga divisible by four like four, eight, twelve, sixteen, etc. So x na natin yung twelve years old guy. Tony, kasi yung 12 ay divisible by 4. Based naman sa clue number 2, Millie's age is divided exactly by the number of days in a week. So, anong ibig sabihin nun? Sa isang week, meron tayong 7 days. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So, we have 7 days. So, divisible by 7 daw yung age ni Millie. So, alin sa 9, 12, and 14 ang divisible by 7? So, it's 14. So, i-check natin ang 14 kay Mili. And i-case na natin yung ibang age kay Mili. So, sa so napapansin nyo, sa table ni Tony, sa, sa table, si Tony ay either 9 years old o 14 years old. Pero, so, pero si Millie na ang 14 years old. So meaning si Tony ang 9 years old. So i-check nyo kay Tony ang 9 at X yung 14. So since wala nang ibang pagpipilian yung kay Rana. Kasi yung 9 ay kay Tony at yung 14 ay kay Millie. This means that yung 12 ay kay Rana. Therefore, Rana is 12 years old. And... Tony is 9 and Millie is 14. So, ganun lang kasimple mag-solve sa logic puzzle using deductive reasoning. Okay? So, let's try another logic puzzle. Okay, so we have this problem. Find the name Brian, Sarah, Tom, age 6, 8, 10. Favorite superhero, Batman, Spider-Man, Superman, for each kid, given number one, Brian likes Spider Man, number two, Tom doesn't like Superman, number three, the youngest kid likes Spider Man, and number four, the kid who likes Superman is eight. So, itong apat na ito, ito yung mga clues or general assumptions natin. So, dito tayo mag base sa pagsagot natin sa puzzle. So, same sa previous example, gagawa tayo ng table, pero this time, yung first column ay names ng mga kids. Yung second column naman ay yung age, at third yung superhero. Unlike sa previous example na check or X lang ang ilalagay, dito, dito ay sagot talaga. Okay? So, ito yung table natin. If you fill up uh, lang natin yung names, by the way, yung arrangement ng names dito can be rearranged depende sa iyo. Okay? So, sa dito, sinunod ko lang yung mga arrangement ng names based on the problem. 
So we have Brian, Sarah, and Tom. So simulan na natin ang pag-fill up ng table. So sa clue number 1, Brian likes Spider-Man. So ilagay natin ang Spider-Man kay Brian. Sa clue number 2, Tom doesn't like Superman. So yung choices na lang niya ay Spider-Man or Batman. And since yung Spider-Man ay nandun na kay Brian, it means Batman yung superhero ni Tom. So ilagay natin yung Batman kay Tom. Sa clue number 3 naman, the youngest kid likes Spider-Man. So since si Brian yung nag-favorite kay Spider-Man, so siya yung youngest. So sa choices na 6, 8, 10, 6 yung pinakamababa. Kaya ilagay natin yung 6 kay Brian kasi siya yung youngest. Sa clue number 4, the kid who likes Superman is 8. Sino ba sa kanila yung favorite superhero, superhero ay si Superman? If you look at superhero column, walang ibang option kung saan ilagay si Superman kundi sa gitna. So ilagay natin sa gitna si Superman. So sa clue number 4, yung 8 years old ay ilagay natin dito. Okay, so yan, kasi yan yung clue number 4. The kid who likes Superman is 8. So sa age column, yung kulang na lang ay yung last row at yung natirang age is 12. So ilagay natin dito ang 12. So that's it guys. Na-fill up na natin ang table. So ibig sabihin, Brian is 6 years old whose favorite superhero, superhero is Spider-Man. Sarah is 8 years old whose favorite superhero is Superman. And Tom is 12 years old whose favorite superhero, superhero is Batman. So I hope may natutunan kayo sa video lecture na ito. Ang masabi ko lang ay study your lesson and answer your own assignment. Okay? So kapag may katanungan kayo, comment down your question and see you sa next video lecture natin.